Cooks and today we're going to have a go at a sausage meat meatball carbonara tagaliki. Um, so as it suggests we're going to use some really nice, um, we've got caramelised onion sausages, we've got a red onion, some little button mushrooms, uh, we're cheating with the sauce but it's, this is going to be a quick meal. So a carbonara sauce, I've got a couple of those to feed the family of four, 12 uh, sausages and we're going to have a bit more tagliki that I'm showing there. And then once we start preparing this we'll add some, some spices as we, we test it. So we're going to come back in a minute, I'm going to get ready with the sausages and show you how we make those meatballs. Okay? Okay, what we're going to do now is prepare for the sausage meatballs. Now all you need to do, and Jack's going to zoom in a bit closer, so you just open up the skin on the sausage meat. Now I find, Raoul, what I find is cut the skin, makes it a bit easier. Okay, see so this is one way of doing it that I'm going to show you, and then I can show you another way. Okay, so you remove the skin, like so. And then what you're going to do then, probably get them into a four, like so. One, two, three, four. Right, I scrap on Jack. Oh, we had that one. Okay, so welcome I'm back. Uh, we're now going to prepare the meatballs. Now, the best way to do this, and Jack's going to zoom in, is you just open up the end of that sausage and then if you think you can get four meatballs out of that so pinch about a quarter of the way in like so twist it twist the skin and then as you see that using your two fingers just slowly pull them out okay we'll do that again so we're now halfway into the sausage like that twist it and pull that skin back until you get a nice ball of meatball in your hand look and then we do that the other side now, so another a ball, twist it, pull that out. The last one always gets a bit difficult, so I'll just hold a bit of paper and then just again two fingers lit, twisted it and pull that out. See how that comes out? Like a nice ball. Okay, then get rid of that. And just finish it off with your hands if you need to. And that's how you do it. So if I just do one more. So again, open the end, about a quarter, twist it, the two fingers just pull that ball out, halfway, twist it, pull it out, fingers around that skin again, twist the skin, put your fingers around the end there and then just pull that one out, that's coming that way. So the last one, bit of tissue so your hands don't get mucky, pull that one out. Okay, and then we're going to carry on then to do that for all 12 sausages, and then we're braying them off in the frying pan in a minute, because I'm going to wash my hands. And welcome back to Gabble I Cooks. Made a bit of a mistake earlier, forgot the wine. So cheers, up yours. So, I've had a good go playing with my balls and getting my balls ready. Now I'm going to brown them off. So, a little bit of oil, not too much because quite a bit of fat in the sausage meat anyway. But we'll get that going. Whack the heat up. And then all we're going to do, once that's up to temperature, I'll put them in anyway. Place them round. And I'm going to do them in batches. Okay, let's stick these in. Like so. Okay, so we're going to do a batch and hopefully then what we're going to do is like I said, brine them off. Once they're nicely cooked and brine, put them in another pan, then we're going to add the onions and the, and the mushroom into the, into the sauce here. Um, so scraping up all that nice flavour off the pan and then we put the onions and the mushrooms 
into the pan arteries. So I'll brain these off and then we'll get back to you. Okay? Okay. What we've done now, if you look into here, you'll see there that's my batch and my sausages done. So I've got them nice and brown. I've actually had that, as I've been doing the batching across, I've actually had that on a low heat just so they're starting to cook through. So you want to make sure they're nicely cooked. Um, I've now got the mushrooms and the onion in there. So I'm now just going to sweat those onions off with the mushroom and actually, you see now, if you look there, oops, lost one. If you look there, look, it's actually just deglazing that pan now and you're getting a nice bit of colour into there. So I'm going to cook those through, lost another one, cook those through and then I'm just going to add that to the, the sausage meat then get that nicely coloured up and cooked before we add the uh, carbonara sauce and a few spices. So I'll carry on and do that and then we'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, and we're back, so excuse me a minute. Okay, so as you see, nice colour going on there in the food. All pretty well cooked. All I do now is I add a bit of a splash of Worcester sauce. A bit of salt and pepper, a bit of salt, not too much salt, a few mixed herbs, and give a bit of bite in there, a bit of heat, a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. Again, all of these you're just going to have to go for yourself and go for what taste you like. It's a bit of a, you know, you just got to have a go and see what you can come up with. Like I say, we've got the carbonara sauce, so I am cheating. So chuck that in. Now I've always found, put about one and a half in, and then see what you've got, see if you get the right consistency you want, you can always add it as you go. So all I'm going to do now is stir that in. Get that all mixed. And then, we're just going to leave, leave that to simmer now until you're happy that it's cooked through. Um, so, grab yourself a glass of wine, leave it as long as you like, and then I'd say a bit later on, probably in about 15, 20 minutes, just cut through one of the meat boards, make sure it's cooked. Then you're ready to add the tagaliki um, a bit later on. So, see you in a minute. Sorry, didn't realise we'd started. Right, okay. So, we've got the uh, sauce in there, we've got that all going. Make sure you season it. Taste all the time, check it's okay. That's fine. We've had the, the water on, that's now simmering. So, you're now ready for the tagaliki. Now, you want about 300 grams of, of tagaliki in there. Now, that holds about bags 500 so put that in, <laughs> put that in carefully, put all the bits in, I'm going to put another couple in, okay, got that in, push that down, Heat that up, get that back to a simmer. Uh, also, I've got the oven on at uh, 200, ready for the garlic bread. Okay, so we're now going to wait now until that's cooked. When that's cooked, we're then going to transfer that into the meatballs, into the carbonara sauce, mix that nicely in. We're going to get the bread, or that's going to take about 10 minutes as a fresh garlic bread, and then we'll plate that up. Okay. See you in a minute. Very well. Okay, so tagaliki's in, been boiling away nicely. Uh, checked it, it's fine. Sauce is good, tasted it fine. We've put the plates in, they're in warming up, so we've got a nice, it's always a good idea to do that because the pasta, 
plates are warm, it's going to go cold very, very quick. So that's in. Got the garlic bread in. So what I'm going to do now is turn that on off using a spaghetti fork, scoop, whatever you want to call it. Don't worry if you get a little bit of water in, adding that little bit of starchy water adds to the flavour. So get that in there. Just going to stir that through as long as your garlic bread's ready. I don't need to be in there very long. And literally, that's then going to be ready to serve. So, all I'm going to do is give you a still shot at the end just to show the serving, what it should look like, and then we're good. So, thank you for watching Gavlar Cooks.